right, everybody. Good morning. Today is a wonderful Monday, August 3rd. We got a lot going on. We have two more people, so we're at 13 people. The second most amount of people we have had here the entire time, so I'm actually happy. But let's go see what's going on and see what all everyone is doing today. All right, and you can see we got a sander. So they're getting busy with everything. It's dusty, so we'll see how well this uh, camera holds up to everything. Lots of sanding going on. So I guess they're done skim coating for now. But uh, I would suspect there's other stuff that needs to be skim coated. All right, we got some hard working going on. New guys that showed up, masonaries. So uh, they are going to spend the next month, or however long, working on our wonderful fence. We're actually uh, talking about where we are going to be moving their wonderful shack. This thing is almost ready already, so I would say a week, and this wall will be done, and the shack will be moved, so we'll, we'll see how, uh, how well this goes and uh, everything. They're digging out the footings right here, if you can see that. But, and it was almost all dug out anyways from before. So they've gotten this cleaned out and they're digging the footings out which is a uh, interesting way they got it going on because they're trying not to uh, disturb too much of this uh, living area which uh, we know that's actually going to have to move at some point here in the real near future because uh, once they hit that uh that mahone over there yeah the rest of this area is going to have to be moved so I want to show you guys, these guys were busy yesterday, they did some overtime, why well, we didn't do overtime, but uh, you see how the floor is done, he's just finishing up a little bit of spot that they had cut out, they were trying to figure out how they were, uh, how this was going to go together over here on this side, but uh, they, they put this little 2 inch uh, PVC pipe in there from the 4 inch that was underneath it and they just connected it and put everything together. For our CCTV area. And then they put the electrical in right there and they ran it underneath the tiles to cut out the cement. So, yeah, they just uh, trimming up a little bit, making getting the last little final touches in this uh, wonderful area. Yes, and our floor is a little bit of out of whack. You guys can definitely see it. It is really narrow there and very wide over on this side and then also works the same way on this wall too. It's not really straight but uh, it's what it is. It's the Philippines I guess. But it's not bad. Yeah. We're going to hide all the areas over here anyways. This is all going to be wood. Mm, a big headboard all the way up to the wall and stuff but uh yeah you can see it but it's all right i mean it looks fine it doesn't really bother us this is, uh, the look of the the walk-in closet it is all completely finished and done and our uh, wonderful handy handyman foreman he is uh, getting busy over here because uh, this is the next little project in here is to get all of this tiled in here and finished up and some plumbing put in doing this plumbing we have uh, yeah this isn't put together yet due to and we still have some uh, plumbing pieces that need to come in and I think this section right here we're looking at we're waiting on the bathtub that's out at our contractors house so they can do the last uh, little fittings on that because this, everything is roughed in right here for the bathtub. Everything else we had here so we were able to do the rough ends uh, really good and set everything in the right places for that. But other than we got to connect the shower up with the hot water, cold water, 
connections and connections for the bathtub. All right, and uh, well, sure you guys all can see that, but uh, he's up there still working on all these wonderful pieces, skim coating, rubber coating, and then putting that lacquer thinner stuff on them. Yeah, looks like real fun actually. Just a skim coat over him since uh, he sealed them all up. All right, and I was about to tile this wonderful cat hole, our little exit area for the cats to go outside. Since uh, we love our cats so much, and they have to be uh, in our bedroom when, at night time. The rest of the time, they don't want to be around. So, but uh, it's all right. We're actually gonna put like a little 90 degree thing in there. So they can come through from the other side, come into our bedroom, or go outside, and we can lock them from coming in our bedroom. <laughs> Whoa. So, I was just looking at something, I was telling myself earlier about this, but that little electrical outlet still needs some work done on it, but we also need to run a Cat6 cable out of there so we can run our uh, projector if we do a projector we're gonna this is where the setup is going to be so we need to put a cat six in here or i'm gonna run a little bit of a mesh system through here and hardwire it in right there i haven't decided what yet i mean we plan on putting a nice uh nice little tv in here in our entertainment area so we'll figure it out but Definitely we need to put another drop in here. So everything is really concrete and uh, hollow blocks and the signal does not go through this stuff whatsoever. It's horrible. In our little apartment, we don't get very good signal. We got lots of signal. We have a single booster downstairs just so we could have internet from upstairs. It is afternoon and you are looking at a load of cement that was delivered while we weren't here. But that's nice. We needed, we were completely out of cement. Which is great. Now we can work on the fence and some tiling can be done, I guess, and some other stuff. And it looks like they have been busy already. Looks like they poured some footings. They laid uh, gravel in the bottom. <laughs> Not very much, and we'll see if I can ask them to put a little bit more in there. I mean, we got lots of it, so why not? So, we're taking a look real quick. I am being told that this ceiling is going to be primed tomorrow. So, they got this whole section ready. They sanded it all down, and behind me... These guys are sanding and uh, smoothing everything out. So, I'm being told that they're going to rubber coat this entire area in here in the master bathroom so they can start tiling tomorrow. Yeah, today they spent all day chipping, getting all the big chunks of cement off the flooring. For whatever reason, you know, it's on the floor. I was uh, very, very, yeah, boisterous about that, but it's what it is, I guess. It's the way they do things here, even though we had a mixing board. They are, got it all cleaned up. They wet it down to take the dust out of it. And it is almost ready. They got a little bit of plumbing. They're gonna leave a little section open for our bathtub. I. It's gonna be uh, a bit before the bathtub, I would suspect it'll be get here. So they're worried about damaging it when it's in here. Very easy to damage and that beautiful piece of appliances, I guess you could call it. I don't know, it's a bathtub for I sell. She wanted to soak in a bathtub. The last little bit, they're skim coating out here on the back of the house. Well, that is gonna be it for today. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Part two of our video. Today is August 4th, Tuesday. And these guys are busy. Nice and nice and busy. 
But uh, let's go take a look around and see what everything's going on. And what you're looking at here is, I guess, our sliding door grill. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to come out or what it's gonna look like but uh i guess by the end of the day we'll uh, know what it will be and how it looks i'm being told this is not the actual framing this is they're making a table to build it on so they are uh yeah this whole little thing is gonna be lifted up a little bit so he can weld it all together he has uh two of them to build so I guess they're both going to be the same. They should be like an accordion style prison bars, I guess. Safety grill. <laughs> and these guys are putting in the dowels for the hollow blocks. So we can start uh, getting busy on building our wonderful fence. I guess uh, I would suspect by the end of the day, they'll have this little uh, area all poured in here for this section of the fence. Guys are absolutely busy. Yesterday they got all the ceilings for the downstairs all sanded down and now they are laying on primer coating. I would suspect there's probably be more than one coat. And here in the living room, they are working on this a little bit. Finishing up, he's uh, going back through, uh, wiping everything down, taking all the the dust off of it so they can primer it so I am being told once again but uh, I guess we're getting two or three coats of this primer up here on the, the ceiling these guys are gonna work on so we don't have paint colors yet they're having difficulties with getting paint Uh, once again, job security, a man, a man. This is thick chipping. It's like an inch, an inch that he's having to chip up. This is where they did all the pouring at for the upstairs area, it looks like. I don't remember. It's been a while since uh, we did that part. And we got lots of more chipping going on. They're getting this bathroom set up too for the tiling job to be done in here. Can't wait. I need to do the ceiling right above us. Standing going on or out here. A little bit different. Wasn't expecting these guys actually sanding. Thought they were putting skim coats on. I think they're just sanding it down to get everything a little bit uh, better but maybe they're gonna primer it not sure we'll find out in the next coming days all right it is four o'clock these two are really fast they are only two that's doing our fencing so here is the other side And let's check the end of this corner. Here it is. This is our corner. And probably they're gonna dig up this area soon. All right, so let's go find out the look of our ceiling after putting the three layer of primer. So if you guys are ready, here it is. Let's check it out. Look how white it is. Super nice. They are still doing the touch up of primer in the corner. And here is the dining area with the cold light. 
is all now white as well. I guess they finish up three area, which is our kitchen and of course our dining and our hallway ceiling and part of our living room which is the cove light area is also being primered and currently he is still doing the primering the guys move here to our spare bedroom downstairs and doing the sanding so my husband is doing the cleaning of the neighborhood again how nice he is he actually sprayed that grass and now it's dead now he's just cutting it all out all right so this is what happened with our bathroom today so this is our spare bathroom upstairs and Kuya did a rubber coating here and I guess they only did just to that level they didn't rubber coat all the way up I thought they're gonna do that but Kuya said they did three layer of rubber coat and it's still wet so I don't know when they can install the tile but let's go check the master bedroom all right so here is the master bedroom so they only did partial which is our toilet area and our sink area not the bathtub and the shower yet because we are waiting to have our bathtub here because they need to do an actual to make sure those drain is match or exactly what we needed and we need to know where is our bathtub faucet's gonna go and of course we need our plumber to put our faucet and connect that to our shower and an update with our sliding door safety grill he already made two, I mean twofold I guess and he already cut pieces there for another rectangle which is 210 by probably 50 centimeter size and it's now angled at 45 degrees so he just had to weld it and we're using those square bar that he's bending now for horizontal let's check what my husband did about cleaning here on our neighbor's lot next to our property and of course ranger right there so here's the side of the house is now clean all right everybody that's about it for this set of videos i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe and hit that little bell button down there in the corner thank you and goodbye